Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Monday, December 13th, National Violin Day. I'm Alex Beck, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode of WCTZ News is sponsored by Brevard Business News, news that affects Brevard. The junior class is having a holiday attire fundraiser. Students will be able to purchase wristbands to wear their favorite holiday outfits on Monday, December 20th and Tuesday, December 21st. Wristbands will be on sale during power hours starting tomorrow through Thursday. Two wristbands for both days is $5. Join in the fun, celebrate the holidays, and support the junior class. NJHS is hosting a toy drive to collect toys and other necessities for those in need. A list of required items will be posted in the NJHS Google Classroom. If you see a girls middle school basketball player around campus, be sure to congratulate them on winning the middle school basketball championship tournament. Now to Shane Winston with a message from administration. What's going on Wildcats? I'm here with Mr. Fleming for a message from administration. This message is sponsored by Hometown Meads. Mr. Fleming. Shane, thank you for that rather spirited introduction. It's good to be back with all my Wildcats. A couple things. We are in the last full week before Christmas break because we only have two days of the following week. So got your exams beginning with seventh period exam on Thursday and then of course our two exams first and second on Friday of this week. Also just a great opportunity. I know many of you have already got your college board, your underclassmen have got your college board accounts set up. You've matched up your results from PSAT to those college board accounts. A great opportunity to work on some Khan Academy over holiday break. Not a requirement, but again, spending up to 10 or 15 hours on Khan Academy can raise your SAT scores up to 100 points or more. So that's statistically significant improvement. So if you're thinking about it, please make sure you take advantage of that over the two week break, uh, uh, two week holiday break. But other than that, we got a lot going on, a lot of sports activities, a lot of success on the field. So come out and support your fellow Wildcats. All right, thank you, Mr. Fleming, and thank you for Hometown Meets for sponsoring. Have a wonderful holiday break. Thank you, Shane. Last Thursday's cheers roared through the halls as teachers were pied in the face. Here's Lexi Borndran with the Sideline Sports. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Lexi Borndran here at Pi Teacher for UNICEF, where five students got to pie five unlucky teachers. Let's talk to the participants. I'm here with senior Gage Huff. So how much money did you donate and to what teacher? Uh, I donated $22 to Mr. Gornto. Why did you donate to Mr. Gornto? Uh, well, I had Mr. Gornto as my AP computer science teacher in 10th grade, and it was a pretty frustrating experience, so I, I thought it would be fun to kind of get back at him uh, these, these few years later. It was very exciting when like the crowd came in and all started to ramp up. Like Everyone just started like cheering really loudly. And it was a very like gratifying and, and cathartic experience. I'm here with anatomy teacher Rebecca Matoska. So a teacher is supposed to get away clean today, but that didn't really happen. Can you tell me about that? So as of yesterday afternoon, no one had bid on me. And then I think uh, one person ended up putting in money at the very end today. So I was like, sure, I'll get five. Always good to do something fun with the students. I'm here with English teacher David Thompson. So how did the pieing go? Um, it went okay. Skyler, the uh, student that hit me with the pod, did a pretty good job. It was a solid throw, a solid hit. It got all in my hair. Um, it honestly went better than I thought it would. Some people were kind of psyching me out, some other teachers that had done it in the past before, saying that it would really hurt. It didn't really hurt that bad. It just got all in my face, and now it's running into my eyes. So the aftermath was much worse than the actual act, I would say. Thank you to the Key Club for putting on this event. This has been Lexi Vorndran for WCTZ News. Thank you, Lexi. AP diploma applications are distributed to seniors who are AP diploma candidates. All completed applications must be turned into guidance before we leave for the holiday break. If you have any questions, please stop by guidance and see Mr. Drake. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by Brevard Business News, CDEC, and Hometown Meets. This has been Alex Beck, and have a fantastic day, Wildcats.